Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. What up, guys? It's ABT Songs here, back with another music reaction. And uh, Will Smith has a new song out. I didn't expect that, but I think he's performing at BET this, this Sunday for the awards show. And so he's got a song out called You Can Make It featuring Friday with two Y's and Sunday Service. So I figured it's been a long time since Big Willie's put a song out. So let's check out the song. Here we go. Don't give up on me, I need you to hold on. I know you deep up in the storm, but I know you can face it. Gee, I wonder if this is going to be about his Chris Rock incident thing happening. Let's find out. Hey. You could get dark on the road and you feel it not alone. Don't lose sight of where you're going, because I know you can make it. Oh. Yeah, I know you can make it. I'll say this is a bit more inspirational than I'm used to hearing from Will Smith in terms of like the beat art. It sounds like it's going to be like some epic stuff and he's usually more on like the poppy rap side. So this is an interesting angle. You are in the smoke and the fire. Tight rope on the wire. I see you broken and tired and all your hope is expired. You're just done with the chains and the gains and the shame and the world is insane. All the pain from the flames that you walk through. Where have I heard that flow before? It sounds like, oh, it sounds like uh, Eminem's uh, I Am. And then, I'm so sick and tired of being admired. And I wish that I would just die or get fired. It sounds just like that. Okay. But no one to talk to, but ghosts that'll haunt you and thoughts that'll taunt you. Trying to heal, but the battle's uphill. And if God is for real, you just wonder, reveal. Listen. So many tests for the flesh, exhausted, gasping to catch your breath. Walking through the valley of the shadow of death. When you think you got nothing left, keep going. Don't give up on me, I need you to hold on. No, you did, I'm better start, but I know you can fix it. You could get dark on the road, ain't feeling loud. Don't decide on where you go, so you can make it. Oh yeah, see, oh, Sunday service, you hear the choir in the background, so this is, this is supposed to make you know, this is epic, this is serious, this is about your life, sir. You know churches are going to co-op this, right? Like, that's totally going to happen. Okay. I know you can say Believe me. So now we're just doing inspiration quotables by Will Smith. That's what that's what this is going to be turning into. Okay, it's just, just this could be from a book. They try to bleed Will Smith in the rear view. I see adversity was the gift. So they say, I'm sorry, they're saying they tried to bleed Will Smith. Why were they trying to bleed Will Smith? Because he slapped somebody. So was it justified? Again, I like Will Smith, so I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying, like, he's saying, like, these haters came after me. It's like, but you, you did something that was kind of worth hating on, so that's why that happened. To lift me higher, gifts require faith. So dry your eyes, and then you'll find a way out of the madness, out of the maze, and out of the sadness, into the rays. The darkest of nights will turn into day, and every storm runs out of rain. Hold on. Here the church singer, everybody. Here the church. Clap your hands, everybody. Nobody gets an easy ride. We all have a cross to bear. But there's wisdom in the fire. And every moment is an opportunity. Embrace the journey. Okay, 
So that was Will Smith's new song, uh, You Can Make It. I will say this, um, in previous albums when he tried to make a comeback, it, it sounded very forced. Like he was like, please like me, please like me. I didn't get the feeling of this being forced. Like I feel like this was actually like genuine thoughts and feelings he was having. Um, I don't have any like major hate towards the song. Like it just sounds like, it sounds like if I went into church and I had to hear a song, I would rather hear this than most other church songs that I hear in terms of like just, you know, the choir singing and stuff and the message they're trying to get across. Like it seemed very genuine and from a genuine place. Um, I definitely thought that, you know, again, given the fact that it, it, I, not that this is referencing that, that incident, but, you know, any song like this is going to be parallel to the incident with Chris Rock. Right. So where he's saying like, oh, I had to go through the fire and the pain, this and that of people hating on me and blah, blah. It's like, yeah. But again, you kind of did something that warranted that. Not maybe at the level that it went to, but like, would it be, it, it's not a surprise that that's the reaction that you got. So I would have liked to have more so seen the song about how like, hey, I did this thing and I know that I, you know, caused some of the pain and that I had to learn how to change and whatever. Like that would have been for me a better message than, oh, the world was hitting and I had to walk through it. Like, but you caused that to happen. So, but is it a bad song? Not at all. Is it one that I would play repeatedly? I feel like, I would have to be in a certain type of mood to hear this song. Like, again, if I'm going to Sunday church or whatever like that, I'd be like, you know what, let's throw in that Will Smith song. Because it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice without sounding overly preachy, even though there was a choir in the background. I think the Friday guy with two Y's did a good job on the chorus, and it was a positive message. So I don't think bad to say about it, just, you know, it, it is what it is. It's not like, it's not getting jiggy with it, Will Smith. So I don't think it'll be played repeatedly, but it's nice enough. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of Will Smith's comeback single? Did you like it? Do you think he should uh, have made another song or something more poppy or whatever? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, guys, my new album, Allow Me to Reintroduce Myself, is finally out after two years of me talking about it. It's finally out on streaming services. It features my song, uh, the, the Kendrick Lamar parody, Jesus Loves Us, as well as a slew of my old hits re-recorded, as well as some new stuff. So check that out. You can go to my link tree and my description. You can go to Apple, Spotify, wherever streaming is, and type in APT songs. Allow me to reintroduce myself and you'll find the album. It is quite the enjoyable listen. All right. But thank you guys for watching this. I'm maybe T Songs and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Satan wanna meet us and that's so tired. Saying it's okay, but the devil's a liar. Jesus loves us. 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 Jesus loves us.